And so I simply decided to look inside the shoe, and I did. Hey everyone and welcome back on the channel. My name is Alex and today we are looking inside the vault uh, in all the possible ways of what this can mean. Um, I got this from Kraft. First of all, disclaimer, uh, Kraft sent me this uh, for free. Uh, so I, you know, I did not pay to, to get this pair of shoes. It was uh, gifted to me. It's a gifted sample uh, from Kraft thanks to um, Road Trade Run. I wrote an article on roadtrayron.com for uh, this pair of shoes and uh, you can go and, and check it out if you want. For most shoes that I have reviewed so far on the channel, it was uh, out of my pocket and, and uh, I bought them. Uh, this is not the case, so I think it's, it's good to mention it and uh, that's something I owe you somehow. So um, that's, that's done, uh, let's move on. I got the box and um, the first thing that I noticed when I, when I got the box was um, the, the quality, I would say. Um, you know, it's, it's those type of things that you don't really see or you don't really notice um, when you're not aware of what it's supposed to, to look like, what it's supposed to feel like, but I directly felt having the box in my hands that this would be some quality stuff because the box is quality the type of you know the nice um, logo design and, and uh, silver glowing uh, you can see it here on, on the camera thing it looks it looks premium it looks it's you know it smells like it's gonna be something different that that's that's just what I thought when I when I had the box anyways I got the box it was five days ago, a week ago, I don't know, but something like that. You know, I did the, the usual stuff, so I opened the box. Uh, there's a nice piece of, of text here, so it says, this item is for the few, right? Tailored to the exact needs of what champions, cool. It offers tenaciously tight fit. Yeah, you know, maybe. <laughs> Exceptionally lightweight, right? We'll come back to that. Unmatch aerodynamics. I didn't know that aerodynamics really were important for running. I mean, they are, but you know, I know they're really important for other things like uh, cycling and, and all that stuff, but never really heard of aerodynamics into running. But okay, unmatch aerodynamics and maximum moisture transport. Why not? Uh, da, 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 da. We congratulate you for making the cut, says on the box. Thank you, Kraft, that's cool. And then, you know, you, you still see that the, the thing is quality, that's all right. You take the shoe out of the box, so I took the shoe out of the box, uh, put the box aside, and here it is, the Kraft CTM Ultra. So, you know, nice looking. The first thing that I did is I weighted the shoe. It comes at 293 grams in my size, so not really lightweight, but then you have to factor in the fact that it has a, a huge stack, 40 millimeters in the heel, 30 in the forefoot, 10 millimeters drop. I'm doing the specs at the same time. Um, and yeah, I did all the, the tests. So I did the durometer, which you will see now on the screen, the Volt Foam uh, midsole. I did the, the durometer testing for it, for the outsole. You can see the values. And so, you know, the values are, um, for the midsole, very similar to uh, the Hyperion Tempo from Brooks, very similar to, uh, what else? The, um, the Sketches Razor Excess. So, and, and when you press against the midsole, it feels, it feels, it doesn't feel hard, it feels firm with some, you know, some, some give, but very little. And yeah, I mean, that's it. I, I took, oh yeah. Very interesting. I took the insole out, uh, the, the, the sock liner. I never saw one like, like this before. TPU uh, made, very thick in the heel, very soft, um, but dense at the same time. And I don't know if you can see the surface, the textured, um, the textured uh, surface at the, at the bottom. Um, yeah, it's, it's a one of a kind type of sock liner. Uh, definitely it's, it's playing a major role in the, in the right of the shoe, but we'll, we'll come back to that as well. You know, and, and that's it. I mean, I, I prepared my stuff to go uh, run the, the day after. 
and they run with the shoe. And so, um, you know, first impressions about the fit were that, mm, okay, the shoe runs long, but I got half a size upper from my, from my true to size. So um, no major complaint, but definitely the lockdown in the midfoot wasn't amazing. As you can see, the heel has a ton of, of give to it. Same here, I mean, the lockdown was okay. I was, I was fearing something way worse than that. And actually it was, it was fine. Um, but yeah, I mean, I went running and I did my run. I checked the data, the metrics, stuff like that. But there was something wrong. There was something that was not clicking in the whole picture. But you know, I couldn't really tell what, and I needed one more run. So the, the day after, I went running with the shoe, and still there was something that was like mm, I don't quite understand what's going on here. Um, and you know, I was expecting, and that's um, when it's interesting to compare what you're expecting, the data that you're getting, and um, what the ride actually feels like. I was expecting something much firmer because the, the um, you know, the, the Jura meter score, the feeling of the midsole and even walking around uh, my place here with the shoe felt a bit firmer than what I, I was feeling when running. So I was like, okay, that's, that's interesting. Maybe there's something I, I don't understand about the shoe. And a few days passed by, I kind of forgot about the, the you know, the ride of the shoe. I was thinking about other stuff and then for some reason I, I took the shoe and I looked at here you have on the side sort of you know a spec sheet with with a different um, parts of the shoe so you have model CTM ultra upper 100 polyester ultra light mesh midsole craft vault foam designed and developed in Sweden perfect and I was like mm, I remember seeing somewhere on the internet um, you know a layering of all the parts of the shoe and I remember there was something else, but I, you know, I didn't remember exactly what, so I, I went, checked, and on the EU side, there was the mention of um, the Vault Foam being the midsole, but also the, the insert in the midsole being uh, made of Vault Foam. And so, you know, I didn't really understand why you would put the same foam into the same foam, you know, like an insert of Vault Foam into Vault Foam weird right and so i went and checked on the us website and i was very surprised to see that there was another material mentioned for uh, the insert in the midsole and that was piba and so i was like what piba in this shoe i never heard of that so you know i removed the, the liner took the shoe removed the liner and i started pressing where the insert is supposed to be and indeed the, you know the feeling was different so you know, but that, I'm, I mean, I couldn't see anything in, in there and, the, you know, just the, the feeling was a bit different. And so I simply decided to look inside the shoe and I did. So yes, you, you, you know, just saw me doing it. Um, I, I simply cut a, you know, a slight piece of, um, of the material below the sock liner and um, you saw it on, on the other footage, but here you have it. So that's how it looked. And if you take this away, you have the blue, but also at, at the center, you have some white stuff and the white stuff appears to be none other than Piba, indeed. So remember Piba is the, that um, super type of foam that you have in Zumex, in um, Power Run PB, in Flight Foam Blast on the Metaspeed Sky. All those super shoes have Piba or, or Piba mixes of um, type of foams. 
and so you have also an insert of Piba on the CTM Craft Ultra and that explains why the ride is softer than what one could expect when, when touching the shoe. You know, it all made sense and uh, the info was available on Kraft's website. So it's not like Kraft was hiding the, the info or, or whatever else. Um, and so I, I measured the durometer score of the, the inserts. And so now you will have uh, the comprehensive uh, durometer scores for the shoe. And as you can see, the Piba ranks way softer than uh, the Volt midsole. And, um, and of course then the, the outsole. And I think what makes this, this shoe very special is actually the, the, the combination, the mix of those different foams that have different uh, characteristics, different um, durometer scores. So you have something uh, very hard on the outsole, something a bit softer in terms of midsole, the Piba insert, very soft. Then you also have um, the TPU liner, even softer or at least, um, you know, thick and, and quite dampening in terms of, of sensations for the ride. And this makes the, the Kraft CTM Ultra that very um, high level of design, high level of engineering type of shoe. It's um, quite amazing what, what Kraft managed to put in terms of technology, in terms of R&D, I guess, in, in this shoe. And I mean, it's not my favorite shoe this year, but still, it's a nice surprise for me. Um, the very high stack, 40 millimeters, 30 in the forefoot with a 10 millimeters drop, something that um, is not existing on the market right now in terms of, um, you know, combination of, of stack height drop. Then you have that, that stable type of, of ride, which you would not necessarily expect given the, the very uh, surprising uh, geometry of the heel, that very beveled heel, very reminiscent of the Hyperion Elite, for instance you would expect something less stable, especially given that you have so much give in, in the heel uh, and that very unstructured upper, but actually the shoe is very stable, uh, surprisingly so, but very stable. It was proven by my uh, pronation metrics, pronation velocity metrics. Um, so, you know, very, very nice surprise. And um, for the price, 160 euros, 160 dollars, for the level of engineering that goes into the shoe, for the stability, that very lightweight uh, type of upper, the tongue, which is um, one of the nicest this year, uh, pretty much on par with um, with the the Hoka Mac 4 tongue. Um, albeit this one is um, is a bit stretchier, so you know, very nice tongue. The tongue is probably the, the piece on the shoe that I like most, and the, the stable ride, but not a piece of the shoe. Um, so yeah, overall I'm very pleased with this and it was a very nice surprise to discover that Piba insert. Um, I hope you also discovered something and if that it was useful for you. If so, please do not hesitate, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you know you, you had fun watching the content and, um, and you enjoyed it. And yeah, have a, have a good run today, a good ride, uh, go beyond your limits this weekend in your uh, races or training and um, let me know if you have questions about this shoe. I'm very happy to answer them in the comments. In the meanwhile, um, take care guys, bye bye.